Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Uh, these are some exercises about section 6.1, symbol interest. Uh, in problems 1 and 2, find the requested value and tell what the other numbers represent. So to find R, we just divide 250 by 4 times 1000 which is uh, 4,000, and then we find the answer. It is 1 over 16, or point zero six two five. Uh, R is the annual rate, so we can say that R is uh, 6.25%. If we multiply by 100, we get 6.25 percent. That's the annual uh, interest rate. Well, 250 here is the simple interest. Because the formula is I equals PRT. This is the principal. And four is the time in years. And R is the annual interest rate. This is the formula for symbol interest. Please check the lecture 6.1. There is a video about it. Here, find P where P is the principal. 9,600 is the future value. Well, if I take P as a common factor, I will have 1 plus 4 times 0 0.05, which is 0 0.2. So I will have 1.2 times P equals 9,600. <laughs> and I can find P easily when I divide 9600 by 1.2. The answer is 48,000. Uh, no, the answer is 80,000. So this is the principle in this case. 10,000, of course, we wrote uh, here, this is the formula S equals P plus I, where I is PRT, okay? So, instead of R, I can write the formula of R, which is PRT. So, 4 is time in years. The annual interest rate here is 0 0.05. P is the principal, S is the future value. 10,000 is invested, so this is the principal, P. For six years, so this is T, time in years. At an annual symbol interest rate, this is R. And we need to write R as a decimal. So 1.6, you divide 1.6 by 100 and you write the answer, or you move the, the point, the decimal, two units to the left, okay? So 0.16. How much interest will be earned? Well, the interest, the simple interest is P times R times T. So we can just multiply the 10,000 times 0 0.016 times six years and find the answer. Well, the answer is 960. So this is the symbol and test. What is the future value of the investment? Well, the future value, we denote it by S and it is equal to the principal plus the interest. Well, the principal is 10,000 and plus the interest, which is 960. So the future value would be 10,000 
960. $20,000 is invested for six months. So this is the principle. This is the time, but it has to be in years. Well, we have 12 months in a year. So six months over 12 would be 0.5. At an annual symbol, symbol interest rate, 2%, so we write it as a decimal, and R would be 0 0.02. How much interest I is PRT, so 20,000 times R times T, and we get the interest. The interest is 200. Dollar. What is the future value? The future value is the principal, which is 20,000 plus the interest. So we have 20,200. That's the future value. Of course, dollar. If you borrow $800, in this case, this is P, the principal, for six months. So again here, T is 6 over 12 or 0.5 years. 6% annual symbol interest rate, this is R.06, write it as a decimal. How much must you repay at the end of the six months? So he's asking about the future value. So he's asking about S. Well, S is 800 plus the interest, which is P times R times T. And uh, this will give you the future value, the amount of money you must repay after six months, which is $824. If you lend, this is also P, 3,500 to a friend for 15 months. Well, T here, changing months to years, you divide by 12. So 15 over 12 is just 1.25. So 1.25 years. 8% annual symbol interest rate. So this is R, you write it as a decimal. Find the future value. The future value is the principal plus the interest, which is P times R times T. And this will give you the future uh, value. So the answer is $3,850. A couple bought some stock for $30 per share that pays an annual dividend. This is the dividend, $0.9 per share annual each year. After two years, so after two years, the dividend would be Two times 0.9, and it would be 1.8 dollar. The price of the stock was 33, so she they bought it for 30 dollar, and the price is 33. So if they sell it, they will get three dollar. So what is the return on investment? If you remember, ROI return on investment is you uh, put the interest what they got. So they got three dollar increase in the price and 1.8 the dividend in two years okay so this in two years what they got and the original amount they paid was 30 dollar so this will give you the return what we call return on investment it is 16 percent so it is 16 percent Find the simple interest rate on the growth of their investment. Well, I, in this case, he, he, he's asking about simple interest rates. 
which is R, okay? I have I, which is the simple interest they got if we deal with the problem as a simple interest. And what they got is $4.8, $3 plus $1.8 dividend. And P here is the principal, and this was $30. And R is unknown. And T is the time, and that was two years. So we use the formula I equals P R T. So R would be 4.8 over 2 times 30, which is 60. And if you divide, you get 0 0.08. So the symbol interest is 8%, symbol interest rate. To buy a treasury bill, the matures, that matures to 10,000. So the price would be 10,000 in six months. So 10,000 is in fact the future value. Six months, you divide by 12, you get 0.5 years. You must pay, so this is the amount you will pay now. This is the principal. What annual symbol interest rate does this earn? So he's asking about R. Well, I know the formula S equals P plus I, which is, can be written as P plus P because I is P R T. And I can take P as a common factor. So the formula would be S equals P times 1 plus RT. S is 10,000. P is 9,750. 1 plus R is required. And T is 0.5. So solving this equation for R, we get the answer. How would we solve it for R? Well, we have to get rid first of the 9750. So we divide the equation by 9750. So we get 40 over 39 equals 1 plus 0.5 R. And now I have to get rid of the negative 1 to find 0.5 R. So 0.5 R equals to 40 over 39 minus 1. And then I divide by 0 0.5. So R would be 0 0.051. Or if I multiply by 100, 5.1%. So that's the answer. The, the annual symbol interest rate would be 0 0.05 or 5.1 percent. If the bank charges a fee of $40 to buy a T bill, treasury bill. So there is a fee now. So to buy this treasury bill, I will have to pay now the 9750 the $9,750 dollars the price plus $40 which is the fee i have to pay to the bank so the the amount i have to pay which would be the principal in this case would be 9790 okay so what is the actual interest rate in this case? Well, it is the same, but instead of 9750, I put 9790 times 1 plus 0.5 R. And I use the same steps exactly. I, div I divide 10,000 by 9790, then I subtract from 1, then I divide by 0 
and the answer would be 0 0.043 after approximation. So R in this case would be 4.3%. If 5,000 is invested, so this is the P principle, the principle, at 8%, this is R, annual symbol interest. How long does it take? How long he is asking about T to be worth 9,000? So this is S, the future value. So 9,000 equals 5,000 times 1 plus R, which is 0 0.08 times t, which is time in years, as usual, or as in the previous question, I first divide by 5,000. So I get 9 over 5, which is 1.8, and then 0 0.08t would be 1.8 minus 1, or 0.8, and then t would be 0.8, over 0 0.08 and that's 10 so it will take 10 years for 5000 to grow to 9000 under this circumstances that's the end thank you very much i hope you enjoyed section 6.1 exercises